Okay, we've talked about um, a few variations of pop-up rigs that I've been using um, in recent years. Uh, this is my favoured bottom bait presentation and I must say particularly over the last 12 months it, it has got it has caught the lot you know the vast majority of my fish and I use it for probably at least 80% of my fishing depending on where I'm fishing. Um, all I can really say about this is the most simple rig you can imagine but unbelievably effective really really effective particularly on waters that um, you know the vast majority of people are using pop-ups I find that you know going back to bottom bait presentations particularly on a balance bait uh, does provide or can provide a very big edge um, I'm a great believer in, in getting my bait to do the work as well and I've got extreme confidence in the bait I use so what I want to be doing is, is, is putting my hook bait in amongst the three offerings that I'm using uh, and keeping it all matching up the same Again, I'll come to it in a minute, but I'm using one of my uh, corker pop-ups, believe it or not, for a bottom bait rig. Um, and there's a little sort of twist, which I'll come to in a minute, but uh, there's reasons for that. But basically, in, um, in principle, the rig, um, I've got the lead core. Again, you know, there's several different materials you can use. I'm using the prototype, the new prototype Gardner lead core that's coming out soon. Um, the covert uh, terminal range, which I prefer, I've got the covert lead clip system there. Uh, it's important for me really on weedy waters that I can drop the lead if a fish gets in the weed. I don't want it too loose, um, but I want to put fish safety first. So if the fish gets in the weed, I want to be in a position whereby, you know, under a little bit of pressure, they can release the lead. Uh, and that system's absolutely perfect for it. I might just clip the lead clip back a little bit uh, for allow that to happen and, and mess around with that. But, but this system's really good for that. And then all I've got on the actual, I'm using there a skin hook link, I'm using the disruption, uh, but uh, you know Gardner do a, a whole range of the skin hook links that are all good, the silk, uh, the uh, sorry, sink skin and the silt skin uh, and this disruption uh, and I find them all good. Um, this one is a disruption in camo brown and I've got the covert anti-tangle sleeve over that. All I've got is a loop at the end of the hook link there and that goes on to a, 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 a quick lock swivel uh, which allows me to change rigs uh, quickly and efficiently. Um, so again the hook length will vary um, at the moment this one's probably on around about a 7 to 8 inch hook length um, and my favourite bottom bait hook of all time and I, I, I wouldn't go fishing without them is a mugger size 8 covert mugger uh, this is the Conti which are a little bit str stronger than the standard muggers again if you're fishing thick weed or, or near to snags, uh, you know, I recommend the Conti is just that much stronger. Um, extremely sharp, really don't need to be resharpened, but if you do, again, just uh, uh, the point doctor, just, just run over to take off any, any edges, but an unbelievably reliable hook, extremely sharp, fantastic aggressive pattern. You can see there the actual, the way that the, 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 the hook shank curves around gives you a real, aggressive pattern and I don't really feel the need to put any type of liner liner on there because of the, the pattern of the hook. What I'll be doing is, is I've got no, nothing fancy at all, like I said earlier, it's really really simple. But I just use a little bit of silicon on the, on, the, on, the, on, the, on, the, on the hook there and with this particular method what I've done is I'm using a B5 corker pop-up would you believe even though it's a bottom bait and I've just uh, got to my 7 mil drill and just drilled out a small cavity of about 3 mil deep and I've just put plugged it with a little bit of um, the critical mass garden the crit critical mass putty and what actually that does is you, you're actually fishing a, a, a bottom bait albeit a balanced one even though you've got a pop-up on and because the cork dust pop-ups we do are extremely tough it offers another, you know, several advantages, obviously, of being tough, nuisance fish, maybe crayfish, bird life. But I'll be wanting to present this in and amongst my free offerings. Maybe if I'm fishing single hook baits, it's not as effective for that. And I prefer, you know, either the hinge stiff rig or, or, or choddy for that type of presentation. But certainly for fishing in and amongst my free offerings, um, I want to be using this rig all the time and um, I've got 100% confidence in it. The hook holes I've been having have been phenomenal and uh, really, uh, as I say, for bottom bait presentations um, and using, using a, a balanced bait as well and obviously getting that critical mass just right. I'll test it in the margins, making sure that, just pulling little bits out, just making sure it sinks and just, it's only the point of the hook, I just want resting on the lake bed 
and I really don't, I, you know, it's so difficult for the carp to eject or more to the point it's, it's very difficult for them to differentiate it from the free offerings you know surrounding it so if I'm fishing other beds of bait that's the that's a hook that I'll nail them every time in my opinion and um, yeah that's my favorite uh, bottom bait presentation <laughs>